Hello everyone and welcome back to another Naval Action Core Mechanics video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the buildings in Naval Action. So when you're in port and uh, this is your main screen, I'm in Santo Domingo which is my main port. You have this icon down here which resembles an old factory or workshop. It's called Buildings and, uh, buildings and Crafting and uh, the hotkey is C. And if you bring it up, this is the window you get. Get a list of all your outposts. And uh, note by the bullet here, you can see what port you're currently in. And you can manage these over here. But in the central is where you get a list of your buildings, where they're placed and what level they're at. As a new player coming into Naval Action without any DLCs, you have access to five building slots or empty plots. And uh, because I have two DLCs that each give me another five uh, plots, I have a maximum of 15. And you can see down here, I've uh, built 14 out of 15 available buildings. The ones you have in the port you're currently in will be uh, in black, and the ones in other ports that you cannot access from the port you're in will be grayed out. To uh, create any sort of building in Naval Action, uh, you go down here to the blue button, press build. And you can uh, select from the list here of available buildings. Now, there's not many in this list because I have several in uh, Santo Domingo already being built, and there's not a lot of re uh, natural resources available. If you want to build a certain resource mine, uh, it needs to be available. Now, oak is available in Santo Domingo, um, but such as um, iron and coal is not available here, so you need to find a port where that is available but I can build uh, Oak Forest, an academy, shipyard, workshop, seasoning shed and fort she and I already have five of these if you hover over each of the icons you'll see the construction cost for each of the levels like if we take the Oak Forest as an example um, it will cost me 50,000 uh, reals to build uh, level 1 will produce 300 uh, per day. Level 2, if I upgrade it, will cost uh, produce 1110. And at level 3, it will produce 4500. So, let's go ahead and build a forest. Are you sure you want to build? Confirm. And we now have a level 1 oak forest in Santa Domingo. If I click on it, you'll see it's just been built, so it's produced nothing. It will produce uh, every 24 uh, hours, it will produce 330, and it has a storage capacity of 600. Once it reaches 600, it will not produce any new locks until you empty out the storage. We can upgrade it, and if you click here, it will show you how much it costs to upgrade this specific building. Um, so it'll be increased to a production. Never mind this number, Santo Domingo yields a slight bonus here. Um, same to this, uh, to the production here because of uh, clan upgrades. It will be uh, 1110 uh, if you're not in a clan upgraded port. And it will require 150,000 reals to do so. Let's upgrade it. And just for uh, convenience, I'll upgrade it once more. And Moving forward, it will produce 4,950 each day with a storage capacity of 9,000. Other buildings, you can build any resources, uh, resource buildings. You can, once they've produced anything, you can go in here, press collect. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Um, it will cost some labor hours, it will cost some reals. Some of the other buildings available to you is the uh, shipyard to uh, building ships. I'm not going to go too far into that. That's coming in the uh, in a separate video uh, next up. You got the forge. A forge produces uh, cannons at the uh, current state of the game. You can produce long guns, medium guns, and carronades of all sorts. The workshop, anything that is uh, an item, so rum, hull repairs, rig repairs, uh, upgrades that are like a keel upgrade or a mast upgrade can be used in the workshop. So you press craft, you get a list of what you have available. 
certain things you need to find a blueprint for first and that's this icon here i'll get back to blueprints in a second but that's a workshop anything you can mount on your ship or use on your ship uh, is basically uh, built in the workshop then we have the academy any upgrades to uh, knowledge or uh, certain personalities you can use as an uh, upgrade on your ship it's made in the academy that will be uh, books like the uh, gunnery encyclopedia it will be uh, french gunner sergeant uh, gunnery sergeants or british gunnery sergeants and uh, you can craft certain blueprints uh, in here for certain ships so anything that's knowledge based is made in the academy uh admiral droider blueprints and additional outposts and docking permits and stuff like that it's all made in the uh academy same for labor hours you can actually store more labor hours than you have in your labor hour wallet over here by crafting labor hour contracts labor hour contracts cost um 300 labor hours, uh, 200 provisions, and 20 tools to create. But one labor hour contract will give you 500 labor hours. So paying 300 labor hours <clears throat> for some provisions and tools will give you back more labor hours so, than you actually have. So that's a nice way to build up labor hours. Anyway, back to the buildings. Uh, seasoning shed, uh, you need a permit to build that, and that is simply used to season certain, um, so, uh, all the seasoned woods, uh, more or less. For each type of wood you want to season, you need to find the seasoning permit for that specific wood. And seasoning wood is insanely expensive, not gonna go into that right now. I'm not sure that's the most viable way of getting these, but. That will be for a separate video down the line. So that is the buildings. What I have in other ports is just resource uh, mines. So if we quickly uh, pop over to our uh, national resource port, Barney. Here we are. Uh, you'll see I have a lot of resource mines over here. Now, Barney, if you go up in your top left corner, you can click on any... Uh, uh, on the drop down at the flag and you'll uh, get the information about the port and you'll see that naturally Barney only produces sugar and before I said you cannot build any resource mine in a port that doesn't produce that item but I have a lot of uh, resource uh, farms here or mines that's because certain ports have been upgraded by clans and nations to uh, be able to produce certain other items and we use Barney as a resource port. So you need to be very specific in what port you built certain uh, um, built certain resource mines. Now, if I wanted to withdraw anything from one of my mines here, if we like go into my coal mine, you'll see it's currently produced 1,050 uh, coal, uh, have a daily output of 2,200 and a storage of 4,000. If you want to collect anything from a resource mine, press collect and it brings you up this menu. It shows you what's available, what building it is. You already know that, you just clicked it. And if you enter, uh, you can press maximum to just pull out everything or you can type in a specific number. It will show you what the cost will be to uh, withdraw that resource in reals and how many labor hours are required to do so. Press collect. You now collected coal and it's been added to my pile in here you see i'm already storing up items here and that's how you use uh, the buildings in uh, or the resource buildings in uh, naval action i hope that answers most of the questions uh, about buildings and uh, where to build them and how to build them what to build as a new player all depends on whether you see uh, playing completely solo as p or as part of a clan that might have a bit more of a structured approach to uh, resource management and um, crafting so i'll i'll end the video on saying that as a solo player you cannot easily
craft everything you need to build ships on your own. And I'll cover why in a bit more detail in the upcoming video that's going to be uh, about ship crafting. So until next time, stay safe.